hello everyone good morning welcome to easy explanation so in this today's video i'll be covering some important question topics so if you are new to my channel uh, this is our website that is easy explanation.com inside this you'll get all the courses of e-governance so if you see i have updated all the chapters of e-governance along with all the case studies and in each case study you can if you go there you can get the presentation version of this that is the ppt okay so this has been presented by my students so you can see so for exam if you feel tedious to study this uh, theory portion you can also go and see this presentation portion for this uh, also i have uh, i'm going to upload all the case study in context of nepal that is e-governance in nepal so i'll be uploading more and also in this section e-governance old question bank i'm going to uh, upload the I have uploaded already I have uploaded some questions I am going to upload the solution of all the chapters for example you can see uh, this is the solution of set one so all the solutions of model question I'll be uploading here and here I'll be uploading the old question from 2070 to 2080 the question of e-governance so you can uh, go and refer this and in today's video I'll be covering uh, chapter wise questions okay important question for exam for upcoming exam so let uh, for in today's video let us cover the question from chapter one okay so from chapter one uh, one question can come as long question okay that is 10 marks question fine so let us start from the starting so first question from chapter one can be define define e governance and e government it is it can be asked for two marks and again uh, a tag question can be asked is differentiate differentiate e governance and e government okay second question that can be asked as a long question this question will not be asked as a long question but they can ask a tag question for example two marks question and then a long question so a long question can be asked as uh, define or uh, explain briefly explain e government as information system okay so this you have to draw the onion ring model so if you have not gone through this please study from the site or from the youtube that i have uploaded in the playlist third question that can be asked this is very much asked question so it can be asked for five marks that is what are the what are the various benefits of e-government Okay, next question that can be asked for long question is explain the explain the life cycle of e government. Okay, so four question. I'll go to next page. So fifth question that can be asked from chapter one is um, what is online service delivery and also what is electronic service delivery or differentiate between the two this can be asked for the short question next question number seven it can be asked uh, the question can be asked is explain about explain about the evolution of e-governance okay so this topic i have already uploaded in my site the solution for this what are the evolution like initially which country initiated for the e-governance and how it grew so everything it has been explained there okay also they can ask explain e-governance explain the evolution of e-governance e-governance in context of nepal it means that in nepal when did this e-governance started what was the evolution next question they can be uh, that can be asked is um, what is the what is the present scenario 
what is the present scenario of e government or we can see e governance in context of nepal also the last question that can be asked is what are the recent trend in development of e governance what are the recent trends in uh, what are the recent trends in e governance we can say so what are the recent trends mean initially uh, we had technological like ict now it has been developed to blockchain ai machine learning data science everything we can include here data mining various algorithms so that all comes under what are the recent trends in e governance okay so that's all for the um, questions for chapter 1 so uh, stay safe and be healthy for in next video i'll be covering the important question from chapter 2 thank you